Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation, and in this video, what we're gonna talk about is the pivot. Do we really pivot the right foot in the middle of the ring? How do we create that really dynamic finish? Is it rotational, is it linear, is it a combination of both? Rotational, angular, linear? Help me! What we're gonna do is kind of break down some of the common mistakes that we see that goes on. Should athletes learn to pivot? And we're gonna say, you're gonna find out in this video. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation and in today's video, what we're gonna be discussing is pivoting. Now, a lot of people will say that you're supposed to pivot and we show a drill called a drill down. And you're gonna notice a couple of key details that connecting the drill down, you're gonna notice the action of the knee and the hip. So one of the things is, is if we just teach athletes to pivot, notice where my hips are. And if I'm trying to throw this way, pivoting, you would think would naturally teach an athlete to turn their hip, but it doesn't. And now there are drills where people are trying to teach you how to extend, but you don't want to extend at the same time. You want to learn how the delivery side moves around the right side. So how are we teaching that? And what are the fundamentals of that kind of middle foot pivot or delivery pivot? And is it a pivot? It's not a pivot. One of the things we teach is we call heel up and pushing the knee and the hip into the throw and rotating that. Now you're going to notice what that does. That rotates my hip into the direction of the throw, which is what I want. So there is rotation, but is it a pivot? Because if I pivot, you're going to notice that my hips are still facing this way and you get a lot of athletes who get real good at pivoting, but then they become this two-part thing instead of seeing this stretch the sequence whether it's the discus or whether it's the shot to create that tension to create that big punch on your finish and if you're a glider and i see people who teach how to pivot but really it's a linear position that drives and has a combination of pulling the shoulder down. So we'll save that for a different video. So here's the thing that we want you to understand. It's not about pivoting. It's not about turning your foot. It's about getting and understanding how we're creating an axis so that this side rotates around the delivery and into the throw. It's really critical on the rotational throws. That's why we have a pillar five that's teaching how to set up this position. And then we have a pillar six. And again, we train position movement and then we train throw motion and that's really key so the thing that we're talking about here is we don't want to pivot how many of you were taught the old kind of squash the bug that kind of carries over maybe from some baseball and stuff like that we're not squashing the bug we're we're driving and creating force into the ground and you're gonna notice how that knee and hip knee hip chest are on the stack and that's what's gonna rotate into the throw and if I'm in the shot it's gonna be here and we're gonna be driving it again into the throw we're not thinking pivot we're thinking how to create the right rotational axis and rotating around that axis and that's the key to setting up really excellent right foot action in the middle of a throw so hopefully you found that helpful thanks so much be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and throw a comment down below and we'll see you on the next video